Um, we want to learn something about the exponential distribution, which is its memoryless property. Memoryless. Uh, what does it mean? It means <clears throat> probability of A. We know what A is now. We know that A is the, the a random variable, which is the time, the interarrival time of the next arrival between this, uh, the last one we've seen and the next one. Uh, probability that A is greater than T plus H, given that A is already greater than T. What does that mean? It means I, sh I played, a, I record a video tomorrow, I played for you the one bike passes, then I pause it right there. And I ask you, uh, what's your estimate for the time you have to wait until you see the next bike coming in, right? Uh, and you start watching for one minute and you don't see any bites. And I ask you, what is the probability that, that the next bike actually comes in uh, after three minutes, which means you have to wait two more minutes. You have already waited one minute and I ask you what's the, the probability that A is actually greater than three, which means you have to wait two more minutes. Um, if I ask you that question, that probability is basically the same as asking you what's the probability that you wait more than two more minutes. Or what's the probability that the interarrival time, uh, or basically, uh, if you see the one minute after I pause the video, you see one minute of it, and I, then I pause it again. The fact that you have waited for one minute has nothing to do with how many more minutes you have to, with how much you have to wait until you see the next bike, right? Which was the case uh, in the example that we saw, the passing of bikes. Sometimes you wait and you don't see anything. So, because they are independent, these arrivals are independent, and uh, because of this distribution, you can see that the interarrival time could be anything. It could, could be six minutes, it could be 65 minutes, it could be 100 minutes or anything. Although the probability goes down, the probability goes down, but it's still possible. The likelihood probability goes down, but it's still possible, right? And it says, uh, here the memoryless property tells us it doesn't matter how much you have waited or how much time has passed or your memory basically uh, does not help you predicting the entire arrival time. So for example, probability that A is greater than 14, given that a is already greater than five because you have already faded five minutes. It's the same as probability that A is greater than nine. So if this is T, T plus nine. Um, so if I ask you, what is this? What is that question mark? It's eight. This is a memoryless property and uh, in queuing system we use M to show that uh, the arrival process follows an exponential distribution because M stands for memoryless. Um, <clears throat> All right, another thing is that when we say a process is follows the exponential distribution, uh, exponential and Poisson are two sides of the same coin, which means uh, they are talking about the same process. For example, the arrival of bytes, they are talking about the same thing. Exponential is talking about A, which is the inter-arrival time, 
Poisson talks about n, which is the number of arrivals per minute or per time unit. So they are, they are talking about the same thing. They are talking about the, at the arrival of bytes, but exponential talks about interval time. Poisson talks about number. And because the number of variables is an integer value, uh, it's not uh, continuous, it's discrete, we have to use the term mass function, not density function, for uh, Poisson distribution. And this is the distribution of Poisson you're already familiar with from statistics and probability and statistics. And here you see that n could be 0, 1, 2, and so forth. For example, p of n equals 3 means the probability that you see three arrivals in the next time unit, for example, one minute. And lambda is the same lambda. So you don't change lambda switching from Poisson to exponential. Ch lambda is always a number. Lambda is always the number of arrivals per time unit. P of this distribution I highlighted here, this is probability of having n arrivals in one time unit. If you're talking about uh, another unit of time, for example, uh, in the next five minutes, that's a multiple of your time unit. Five minutes, you multiply T by um, lambda. So here your T is basically one. Here I multiply lambda by T, lambda T. So here we are using lambda. Here we're using lambda T. That's the only difference between these two. We will solve an example to see what does that mean. And mean of variance of um, Poisson, we know that it's both just lambda. I mean, variance is lambda squared. Memoryless property. All right, let's solve an example. So just keep this in mind, this last formula that we have. Okay, let's solve an example. The number of glasses of beer ordered per hour at Dick's pub uh, follows a Poisson distribution with an average of 30 beers per hour being ordered. All right, apparently, Everyone's got vaccinated and now they opened the pub and people are ordering beer. So find the probability. So first of all, what is lambda? Is it 30 or one over 30? It's just lambda. Because lambda is the number of arrivals, number of orders, number of customers, and it is 30 beers. So that's just the lambda. But pay attention to uh, per hour. So that's our time unit. Our time unit is hour. Find the probability that exactly 60 beers are ordered between 10 and 12 midnight. First of all, it's talking about probability. I'm going to either use uh, Poisson or exponential. For example, 1 over 30 means uh, in hours. That means uh, two minutes every two uh, uh, you on average every two minutes you see uh, one order of beer every two minutes if you start like recording every two minutes someone uh, orders a beer on average it means sometimes for five minutes no one orders then three people come back to back then three orders back to back and then nothing for two minutes then next order and so forth but on average Every two minutes they give an order, therefore you have 30 orders or 30 beers 
every hour because 30 years is the number that's our lamp probability that exactly 60 beers are ordered so probability that n is 30 for how long between 10 and 12 midnights so for t equals 2 which means for two hours not for one hour here our information was for one hour <clears throat> So what should I, what distribution should I use? Exponential or Poisson? If you go back here, you see that Poisson is for number um, number of arrivals per time unit, but exponential is for the probability that interarrival time is a certain value. So here I'm going to use Poisson. But the thing here is that it's not in just one hour. It's in two hours. So I'm going to use lambda t to the power of n, e to the power of minus lambda t over n factorial. This, that's the formula for Poisson. That is 30 factorial here. Lambda t is 30 times 2 to the power of 30 uh, times e to the power of minus 30 uh, times 2. That is 2. That is very difficult to calculate. But do some of the calculations. So here I'm going to write uh, 30. That's just 60 to the power of 30. Uh, times e to the power of um, minus 60, the whole thing divided by 30 factorial. That is a very, very small probability. It's close to zero. You see that 7.3 times like there are six zeros and then five zeros and then seven. Right? Why why is that probability very small? Because it's talking about exactly 30 years. Right? That's very unlikely that exactly 30 years are ordered. In the next uh in the next two hours, especially because the average is one hour. Now, the next question. Find the mean and a standard deviation of the number of beers ordered between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. So that's just t equals 4. Therefore, your lambda t, which is your mean and a standard deviation, is 4 times 30. which is 120. So if your time unit is four hours, your lambda is gonna be 120 beers. So 120 beers per four hours. Number three, find the probability that the time between two consecutive orders is between one and 30 minutes. So the probability that the time between two consecutive orders, what is that? That's A is between one and 30 minutes. What should I write for that? I write probability of A being less than three minus probability of A being less than one. Why do I do that? Because here in this distribution, you see that this is one, this is three. I'm looking, I'm trying to find this area. So what I do is, um, How do I go back? Um, what I do is I get this probability first, this area, which is probability of A being less than three minus 
this area. Probability of A being less than one. Which is, we already had a formula for that, which is one minus e to the power of minus uh, lambda t. Here my t is one, sorry, three, minus one minus e to the power of minus lambda t here, my t is one. So that is, uh, e to the power of minus 30 uh, lambda t. So why, why is my, I, I expect this value, this probability to be large because between one and three minutes, uh, but why is it so small, this probability? It's because I'm, I'm, I'm putting a lambda in hours, right? So this is wrong. I have to replace it with lambda in minutes. If I have 30 beers per hour, what is my lambda per minute? It's 0.50 or divided by 60 beers per minute. So here I put 0.5 and minus 1.5, 0. 0.5 times three basically. Here you see that the probability is uh, 0. 0.38. Approximately 40%. So the probability that, uh, so someone comes, orders a beer, and I ask you, what's the probability that the next person comes between one and three minutes, not under three minutes, not uh, because under three minutes includes, for example, 20 seconds to between one and three minutes. That probability is 0.38. So if I ask you under three minutes, you expect the probability to go up or down. go up, right? Because it includes more options, 78%. Uh, so P of under three minutes is one minus E to the power of minus lambda, which is 0.53, which is 0.78%. What if I ask you, what's the probability that the next person who orders beer uh, comes after five minutes? Then you calculate P of A greater than five, which is E to the power of minus lambda 0.5 times five. That's 8%. So 92% they're, they're gonna, the next person, uh, the next person is gonna come or the next order will arrive uh, under five minutes.